Hi all and welcome to another Paleo guide. If you're still fairly new to Paleo and started to level up your various skills, you'll soon notice that not only your backpack inventory, but also your general storage fills up quickly. Let's start with your personal backpack inventory, as you're most likely wanting to expand this one first in order to gather and carry more things home. Your default inventory consists of two rows with eight slots each, and backpack upgrades consist of one additional row per upgrade. Currently, there are three upgrades available, which you can see as grayed out rows when opening your inventory. Backpack upgrades can be purchased at Seke's general store. While you can go there anytime to buy them, once you have reached a full or overflowing inventory for the first time, you'll also receive a letter from Seki that starts the quest called Seki's Expanded Backpack, which tasks you with doing so. The first backpack upgrade costs 500 gold and grants you one additional row with eight inventory slots. This might sound like a lot of gold for a fresh Palian, but you'll get there in no time. Generally, it makes sense to prioritize backpack or storage upgrades as more inventory space helps you to make even more gold over time. The second upgrade is for the large backpack and costs 5000 gold. It once again grants you one additional row with 8 inventory slots. The currently last upgrade is for the deluxe backpack and you might need to save up a little bit for this one as it sets you back a whopping 50,000 gold. As with the other upgrades, it will grant you one additional row with 8 inventory slots, which brings your total backpack inventory to 40 slots. We don't know if there are plans for further upgrades in the future, but for now this will max out your backpack inventory. Now let's talk about your general storage. The default wooden storage chest you can craft at your workbench holds 400 items. Without upgrades, 8 wooden storage chests will allow you to store 3200 items. While you can place up to 8 general storage chests on each of your housing plots, only 8 chests in total will count towards your max storage limit. And it does not matter where you place your best chests as the system automatically adds up your highest storage total regardless of placement. All chests are connected, so by opening one chest you can access the storage content for all 8 chests, no matter on which of your housing plots you are. Before we talk about upgrades, there is one special type of chest that can be placed in addition to the regular ones and that's the lockbox storage chest. This chest is a so-called safe storage that prevents all items that are placed in it from being accidentally used. You can also access your safe storage from any other chest by clicking on this symbol. Each lockbox storage chest holds 100 items and up to 3 will count towards the item limit. Placing 3 will expand your overall storage total by 300 but placing any further chests on other plots will only count as decoration and access to your storage. The crafting recipe for the lockbox storage chest can be bought at the furniture store's register for 1000 gold. The most important is of course to upgrade general storage chests, as you can max have 8 chests counting towards your storage limit. So upgrading those is the only way to further expand your storage. Currently there are two crafting recipes available that allow you to craft bigger chests. Both of them can as well be purchased from the register at the furniture store. The first crafting recipe is for the copper storage chest and costs 25,000 gold. Yes, that's a lot of gold, at least in the early game. However, the copper storage chest can hold 825 items. That's more than double the storage of the default wooden chest. If you craft 8 of them, you'll have space for 6600 items. We'll show you an overview of all available chests and storage totals in the end of the video. 
The second crafting recipe is for the iron storage chest, and that one costs 100,000 gold. This might seem like a crazy amount if you are new to the game, but believe us, you'll get there eventually. One iron storage chest can hold 1,250 items, which, if you craft 8 of them, gives you a total general storage of 10,000 items. At this point in time, the iron storage chest is the biggest storage chest upgrade you can buy, but we are sure the devs will add more storage options later throughout development. Before we look at the overview table for backpack and chest storage, a few things that are good to know and one tip. Quests as well as furniture and deco items do not count towards chest storage space. You can stack up as many housing items as you wish. While we love this feature, it can be something you'd need to get used to if you typically manually organize and sort your inventory. That's another point, you cannot organize your chest storage. There are item category tabs as seen and that's it. That said, we do expect the devs to further improve this interface and maybe even add a search option. A last good to know is that stacks in your storage are not like in your inventory. In your general storage, all items will generally stack up in the hundreds. Even the items that when moved to your inventory don't stack or have a limited stack size. On the not so happy side, none of the storage chests can currently be modified, as in changing their color with modification kits. We really hope the devs add this option in the future. As for the tip, if you are close to max storage and have trouble freeing up space, then don't empty your crafting stations unless you really need the items. Your furnace or sawmill can easily hold a few stacks of bars and planks until you need to take them out for crafting. By the way, you can also store converted resources retrospectively in your stations but you can only do so from your storage and not your backpack inventory. Now, let's have a last look at all backpack inventory and storage chest options. And that's all for this guide. If you'd like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.